What's up, Good Nature family? Today we're going to be talking about the maintenance items for your Good Nature X1. The tasks we'll be discussing can be found in your user manual or on your maintenance guide, which are included with your new equipment. Those documents can also be found on our website. There are two tasks that should be performed on a daily basis. The first being the lubrication and inspection of the grinder shaft seal, and the second being the lubrication of the press top rail. The first daily task will be to check the rubber black shaft seal located on the grinder underneath the backing plate. We'll need to lubricate this with food grade grease if overly dry and needed. If the seal is sitting tight against the hopper support plate, use a flat object like a screwdriver to move the seal forward slightly to create space. This will keep the seal from rubbing and creating friction when using the grinder. If the seal becomes cracked or breaks over time, please replace the seal. The second daily task will be to apply food grade grease to the top rail of the press underneath the shims to allow the press to slide with minimal resistance. There are two weekly maintenance items that we'd like you to take care of as well. The first being ensuring that the directional valve handle is secure on the machine, and the second being that the stub shaft is secure on the grinder. The first weekly task will be to make sure that the directional valve handle is tight so that it functions properly. We'll be using an adjustable wrench to ensure that the nut on the top is secure. For machines manufactured prior to July 2015, Use a 332nd Allen wrench to tighten the set screws on the handle. The second weekly task will be to ensure that the drive shaft is in place to give the shaft seal room to operate. Using a 1 8 inch Allen wrench, tighten the set screws on the drive shaft between the motor and the grinder plate. There are six monthly maintenance items, which include checking the tightness of hardware, checking hydraulic fittings, checking the oil level in the reservoir, and also checking the spacing behind the grinder disc backing plate. The first monthly task is to tighten the large hex nuts that are located at the end of the hydraulic arms. This requires an inch and a half box wrench. Task two will be to tighten the bolts and nuts that attach the hydraulic arms to the rear of the press. This requires a 916 wrench and a 916 socket wrench to tighten from both sides. The third step is to check the shims on the press to make sure they have no cracks and appear in good shape. Replace as needed. Task four is to tighten all bolts, nuts, and screws visible on the machine. Do not over tighten, but use wrenches to ensure they will not come loose during operation. For monthly step five, you want to check to ensure the grinder disc backing plate spacing is correct. The correct spacing allows the produce to flush from the grinder area to the bag more freely and puts less stress on the motor and components. The spacing should be 1.5 inches or 38 millimeters from the face of the grinder disc backing plate to the back of the grinder area. If spacing is incorrect, loosen the set screws on the stub shaft and move the assembly forward. Tighten down the set screws once the correct position is obtained. Step six is to check the oil level of the hydraulic reservoir with the press fully open. A tip is to remove the breather cap and dip in a rolled up piece of paper towel. The level should be one to two inches or 25 to 50 millimeters from the top. If a drop in oil level is noticed, check the system for leaks. If oil is needed, replace with the recommended hydraulic oil. Ensure the breather cap is always on during operation and cleaning. A cracked or damaged cap should be replaced immediately. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the resources section on our website.